What's up everybody and welcome back to an Idiot's Road to Glory where we are jumping straight in with some stuff I've done because we are absolutely loaded now. We've almost got one million coins and we're jumping in with comment of the day which comes from Andrea Smith Hunter who said what happened to playing Reeves Road to Glory? That is coming. We're meant to be filming it this Saturday I think. So usually over the weekends I get a little bit ahead on Road to Glory videos just because like I did actually I should probably explain this to you guys. I was quite far ahead on the road to glory and still currently I'm actually like the one that I uploaded for you guys yesterday on the poll still hasn't quite gone live by the time that I'm recording this one so I don't know the poll results yet and we, you guys are going to see what my team currently looks like it's a little bit ridiculous but I, t I try and get ahead for foot champs so we're supposed to record it on Saturday but we shall see when that actually if we have if we do and if we're both just sweating foot champs out Reeve obviously this week got elite two which was mental so I'm sure he's going to be smashing that again and also it just depends when it actually comes out because by Saturday I might already have Sunday and Monday's videos recorded just to make sure that I've got spare time for foot champs without actually having to record them. So yes, it's going to happen. Leave down in the comment section anyone else's Road to Glory you would like to see me play against. And maybe we'll try and do like one of them a week or one every other week or something like that. So pop down some recommendations. We've got Reeves, maybe we can do Tom's, maybe I can ask Nepo, but anyone else, pop them down in the comment section which Road to Glory you would like to see me play. And let's just jump into this episode. But like I said, I haven't seen what you guys have voted for between Kante and Neymar, however, spoilers, I don't think I can afford Neymar. Not quite, not yet, anyway, but we might be able to by the time Foot Champs rolls around. Depending how my, well, not depending how my Foot Champs go, because I'm going to show you guys how we got on with that last weekend. Like I said, I tried to get ahead for Foot Champs so I can play it. I did. And I was ahead and we messed up that upload of that video because I was getting ahead and rushing and stuff like that because my family was visiting because of my sister's graduation. So I uploaded the video two days, three days ago now, but it's ended up being two days ago. Episode 42 got uploaded twice because the first time I uploaded it, it had 12 minutes of silent footage at the start that wasn't meant to be there. So that was that was a good one. So, I mean, technically, what are we on? This is episode 44. So, technically, we've uploaded 45 days in a row. It's just we had to delete episode 42 and re-upload it the next day. So, the streak is still kind of going, although we've cheated a little bit. We uploaded episode 42 twice, or episode 42 and some extra stuff once, and episode 42 the next time. But basically, I was ahead for the weekend, and I was doing all the videos and stuff like that, Give myself some spare time on the Friday to play some foot champs and get myself, not into gold three, but... I get myself like 9 or 10 wins or something like that on the Friday. And then just while my family was here, like get up a couple hours early and play a few foot champs games on Saturday. Maybe come back on the Monday after going out for dinner and play a couple of games then. That sort of, well, that wouldn't work, but on the Sunday, but it did end up me maybe doing it on the Monday. Come back after dinner and play a couple of games. Basically just sneak into Gold Freak. That was the plan. But unfortunately, they cancelled foot champs on the Friday and I couldn't play any games on the only day that my family wasn't here. So I had Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and my family was here Saturday, Mon Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So in the end, I only managed to play eight games. We did win all eight of them and got ourselves into silver two, but that's kind of tragic. We went out for dinner on Monday night, and I was tempted to try and get three more wins, but I honestly just couldn't be bothered. Like, there was nothing I wanted less after coming back at, like, half eleven from Central and just sitting here having a bottle of wine and trying to then try and sit here and play some foot jams that literally wasn't going to happen so I've got a 35k pack a 25k pack and one player pick item that's under 84 but pro all of the team of the week this week is pretty crap so it probably just means we've got a better chance of getting Richarlison so I'm going to try and look at it positively we went 8-0 and in this week's foot jams and that was it so cheers EA for I, I don't even know what happened there was a network outage or something like that where the servers just didn't not, not even in the normal sense of me being like, oh, the servers don't work, I've got buttons delayed. Like, they were just offline, like something happened, like someone tripped over a power cord or someone who provides the power to EA's server room or something like that. They, I don't know what happened, I'm just making stuff up. But basically, the servers weren't like broken, they just were off. They just didn't, they weren't functioning at all. Like there was just something really wrong with them and the game just didn't work. So that was unfortunate. Um, the actor moved for champs, which screwed me over and I couldn't get gold free. So I'm saying, we'll see what we get in our foot champs rewards, but they're going to be absolutely tragic. However, we do have some stuff that we've sold, which I'm going to show you guys. We've got some stuff that we can sell to give us some more coins. Something has just sold, as you can see, but we sold Salah for actually 50, or oh, rather 4,000 coins more than we bought him for. We bought him for 250 and sold him for 250 So we lost a little bit on tax, and we probably should have sold him 
at the weekend because to be honest if you yeah, I should have sold them last week and just not played for champs this weekend because silver silver two is kind of pointless but it, it doesn't matter it's fine same goes for Manny. it was like 120k about five or six days ago probably should have sold them then because I haven't played any FIFA in between now and then but Natty was the same and then all these guys I sold when the Liga NOS SBC come out so there's just like loads of 1700, 1400, like it's not mad coins, but like these guys are usually discard value and you're selling them on for a little bit more than that, so that is pretty good. And then two and a half K, which is bloody decent in the Liga. The silvers that I bought with the Liga, like with the Premier League one and the Liga and one and the Serie A one, as you guys have seen for the ones of them that have come out, I invested quite smart in them and like actually did some research into the teams and picked players from positions where there was limited amount of players and then they would go up ridiculous amounts and it actually worked. Whereas with this one, so many of the teams, you just need silver players, and that was it. That for this, I literally just went in and just bought every silver I could for 200 coins, and it worked really well in some places. And we made like a thousand coins on them, and then in others, like they were only going for like 550, 350, 500, 250, and then you get one that's like 2,300, and then you get a 500 and a 500 and a 400. So I mean, I'm doubling my coins. Like this guy would only sell for 50 coins more, but actually hitting the nail on the head of ones that are worth loads was a lot more. There was only two of them that were worth a lot more from doing it that way, just because the ones that were predicted to go up, such as this dude, had already gone up like six or 700 coins, now he's buying them all for 200, so it was just a bit lucky that I got this guy, and I wasn't particularly smart with my investing there, but we sold them, we sold the salad, we sold everyone else, we sold the shadow cards that we got in our daily objectives, and we've got nearly a million coins, with some stuff still to spare, actually, so we've got four of these salad guys, three here, and one in my club, We've got a crap load of Gullianos and we've got a load of Bailey and Guedes as well. These guys have actually gone back up to where I bought them for. I think they're like 900 coins for Guedes and 950 for Bailey. So I'm going to sell these on probably after this video. We haven't got massive amounts of them, but there's a few thousand coins there chilling in them guys. And like I said, we've got 932k, but that does mean that my team is a little bit tragic, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've, we're keeping most of them in the vote that I gave you. Like, we're keeping Alexandra, we're keeping Marquinhos, we're keeping the defence, basically. We're keeping Firmino and Kane. We're not keeping Lucas, but I kept all of them for now just because he makes the team work and makes me be able to carry on playing games. And we're not keeping Rabiot, but, I mean, he's untradeable, so I'm not going to sell him. So, I've got rid of half of my team, basically. Or the half of the team that I'm going to actually get rid of. However, we just kept a couple of them, and we, we, we're getting rid of half of the team is probably the best way to put it. But I've still got one or two of them chilling there because they're untradeable and or I need them to play games. We put play the month Lucas back in, who was absolutely tragic on this game. I mean, he was only like, he cost me like 25k after the packs, so it was fine to get him. He's an 86, he's a player in a month. I used him for the first couple of weeks, and he's a super sub. And then we got Bernard. <laughs> I can be bought him because he's an Everton player, I'm not going to lie to you guys. He's four star, four star. He's dribbling. Honest to God, his dribbling is absolutely unreal. He's incredible at dribbling. He's like one of the best players I've used at dribbling. It must be because he's 5 for 5 and he's got like 96 balance and 96 agility. Unreal. He is so, 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 so good until it comes to make a pass or make a shot or take a shot. It's ridiculous. Like, he's absolutely insane at dribbling, but he's totally useless because he can't pass, shoot, or make an intelligent run. <laughs> it's so funny. You give him the ball and he just runs rings around everyone and then crosses it to the goalie. Or you give him the ball and he skins four players and then kicks it over the bar. And it's just, <laughs> it's proper funny. He's so, so bad. But it does kind of make me want to try out that that second in form, Felipe Anderson, who looks very, very similar to him. But I'm not sure if we'll do that. Maybe, I suppose we could pick him up. He's one to watch, he's currently chilling at like 200k or something. So we could maybe get him instead of... If we go down the Bicante first route, instead of Neymar, we can get the Felipe Anderson. But what we are going to do is, as this team is absolutely hilarious, we are going to come back actually in a second. I'm going to go and do these SBCs. Well, I've already set them up to be done. So I'm going to show you how I did them. The Flash of Brilliance one for a 45k pack. The UEFA marking matchups for a couple of, another 45k pack, I think. And then a Champions League three player pack. And I've even got one of these almost set up as well. We just need a couple more of our untradeable, crappy... Champions League players and we get a guaranteed 81 plus one, which is pretty nuts. So that's something we're going to do. But first of all, we're going to jump in to some gameplay with this absolutely tragic team. It's been funny. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We played against first this absolutely mental squad. Prime Rio, De Gea, Alaba, throwback Goethe, Lewandowski, UCL Goretzka, play them of Hazard, Davis and Sanchez. Absolutely ridiculous team. Like He needs himself a Kante and that's about it. And his team can't get much better, to be honest with you. 
at least in the leagues that he's got. But look, Bernard's mad. How has he got to that ball? He's absolutely insane. Cuts it back to Kane, and I should have took a touch and finessed it in the far corner. I was mostly just blown away by the fact that Bernard is that he's so fast and he's so good at dribbling. Actually mental. Like I was even throwing in rainbow flicks to him and I was spamming B. I'm just baffled by the fact that he can do it. Spamming B to header when I definitely shouldn't be doing that. And we missed time to header. That was an open goal for Lucas and missed the ball. This guy eventually did manage to score a screen. I'm like, look, what, first of all, what is going on there with Rabiot? This is in like the 65th minute now. And his stupid play of the month, Hazard, scores an absolute rocket. The pay to win in this game is real. The difference between having Salah and Mane to having Bernard and Lucas is immeasurable. It's absolutely ridiculous. But we did actually manage to score a pretty decent goal when a couple of my usual players combined came through ball to Firmino and a beautiful little chip over his Dava De Gea to make it one all in the 77th minute and a dirty little celebration from Firmino. If you guys don't know this, if you just hold circle or B if you're on the Xbox, just does a random celebration every time. I mean, it's totally pointless. You can just skip them by pressing L1 and R1. But I like to throw them in there anyway. Just for the video, it makes a nice little cutaway point. But anyway, we carried on. And we did actually always win this game, to be honest with you. Even though I was struggling to make chances with my crappy little forwards, this guy was doing a good job of giving me chances. Now, look at this is where pay to win comes in. Look at this from a ball from Kane. The nod, bro. I could have scored that. I know you've got like 60 finishing and like 50 composure, but come on. And then we were actually kind of peppering this guy and like pushing forward and forward and forward trying to get the win. And he was just trying to slow down the clock as you can see and get the draw. And that's what he got. We got a one all. It, it doesn't matter too much. I was kind of just doing it because we're only in rank four in Div Rivals because we didn't play much. We played even less foot jumps than we did last week. And I need some points. But like, we did all right to be honest if you wish the team. Like if you take a look at the stats, he barely had a shot inside the box. One on the very, very edge. And we were like... Getting chances in the box and like Bernard is missing that sitter in the box and Lucas because I was spamming B missed the sitter in the box. We were doing alright. The difference was immeasurable. Like we would have won that game if we had money because he would have just tapped that chance home 100 times out of 100. But never mind. We still got ourselves some for champs tokens that are totally bloody useless. In fact, yeah, they are because we're only on zero because we've already qualified for this week's for champs. It's fine. We're a week ahead. We lost two skill rating for it and we gained 390 weekly points, which is magical. And then I put this clip in before I actually did the live stuff, obviously. And I put it in to show you guys that for doing this, just the chip one, which is worth doing if you guys have got this objective. You get yourself a shadow card, which as you've seen, I checked the price for, but I've already showed you guys. It sold for 4,200 coins, which is lunacy. Nuts, I don't know. I think shadow cards are pointless this year. I'd much rather use an anchor if they need a bit of pace and get the physical as well. Or if they've already got pace, I just stick a sentinel on them as well and get the double physical and defense bonus. But people apparently still go for them and still love them to the way of like four and a half thousand coins, which is nuts. But anyway, we jumped into another game against the team. That was almost identical to ours, to be honest with you. He's got himself basically the same midfield or what we used to use. He's got Kane. He's got that Lucas that we're now using. He's got one to watch fully by Anderson. Lewis is now going to be an 86 at six o'clock instead of our stupid Bernard. And then... Very similar defence. Ours has changed up a little bit, but that's basically where our defence used to be. And he started off scoring a finesse shot with player of the month, Lucas, which was very frustrating, especially because you guys didn't see it because it goes on so quick. Also, this game was so boring. Like, look at this. I'm literally stood still doing step overs with Lucas Lieber, and he barely comes and tries to tackle me. The AI defender does do my nothing a little bit on this game. I'm not... It's... The AI defender is annoying, but it's sometimes it's not even the most effective way to defend. It's when people only use it is when it's frustrating and just gets boring to play against. But anyway, we won't go into that. We're just going to go on a mad little run with Bernard. Look at his agility. He's actually crazy. Cutting back, laying the ball off. It's honestly ridiculous. Like, I couldn't believe. I, I watched Pie Face's stream, and at the start of this year, he used to rave about Bernard, basically, and say he's absolutely sick. And I just thought I'd try it because I'm an Everton fan and I just wanted to try Bernard. I just needed a Brazilian left winger, to be honest. I had Vinicius Jr. in my club. I was like, nah, we're not going to do that. We'll use Bernard. So we got him. He's actually... It's actually... He's not good. He's not good. I should spe I should be very, very clear about the fact that he isn't good and you shouldn't use him in foot champs. But his dribbling is ridiculous. I, I, honestly, another level. Like, it feels like you're dribbling with Mbappe. That is not me exaggerating. It is honestly crazy. He's absolutely garbage. I wouldn't touch him ever again. But the dribbling is mad. Again, in this game, we were doing really well. It took until it took an absolutely horrific goal, actually, with Paulinho. I tried to chip the keeper again. I think got the finish of Firmino. But luckily, we got the rebound in the 85th minute. I managed to get a 2 all draw in this game. But yeah, Bernard, is, it's so bizarre. Absolutely tragic. Wouldn't bother using him. But 
is dribbling ridiculous. And then again, we almost, almost managed to sneak the win again. Very unlucky not to win the header with Kane. Unlucky that Paulinho volleyed it just against the other guy instead of going for a header or something like that. I'm not really sure, but this guy again, panic station, is just hoofing the ball away. And there we go. There was the two ball draw. And again, we played pretty good. So you just don't have to cut an edge when you've got Bernard and Luke in form, or rather player of the month, Lucas. Up front, not in form, Lucas. Don't be mean. He plays CDM. But anyway, we got a couple of points. We're still absolutely nowhere near the next rank up. So if we jump back, in fact, I can show you guys if we come to live. Div Rivals is no, that's foot jumps because the menus are lagging. Div Rivals it ends in 14 hours. You need 9,800 points, and I've got 5,700. So <laughs> rank three is looking like a like a struggle this week. So maybe when six o'clock comes and I see what you guys vote, I might actually just go and buy Mbappe and stuff like that and get my new squad on the go to try and finish this off because that is looking pretty, pretty tragic and I'm not excited to try and do that with Bernard. But before we do that, like I said in the vote, I don't actually know what you guys are going to vote for. We're going to do some of these SBCs and to be honest with you, it might end up the fact that we can just get all of them anyway if we pack something sick in this. Like, I'd never actually spend 150k on that Goethe, but I'd quite happily spend 600k on a Neymar if we manage to get some more coins. So. Let's have a look. This one gets a prime gold players pack, which is a 45k pack, I believe, for a four-league hybrid with only two players in the same nation and a rare Champions League player. This is a very, very good SBC, especially considering I've got this guy untradeable. Absolutely no use to me. So I may as well trade him in. And then we've got this guy untradeable. This dude's tradable, but he's non-rare. Oh, we're, we're, okay, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> Zelinski is tradable. Oh, no, untradeable. Tradable, non-rare. Tradable, non-rare. Untradeable. Tradable, non-rare. Tradable, non-rare. Tradable, non-rare. Tradable non-rare. So basically, we've just traded in three, six, seven non-rares and four untradable cards to get a 45k pack, which I think is absolutely sick. So that's a really easy SBC to complete if you've got yourself a Champions League card just chilling in the club. I mean, by the time this video comes out, this SBC is going to be gone. But if you've got a Champions League card chilling in your club that's rare and untradable and you didn't do that SBC, you're a fool, basically. Or you didn't see that the SBC was there because you went on FIFA. But either way, probably should have looked. Should have done it. Really good. Anyway, you ready for marquee matchups? This one gets another Prime Gold Players pack, which is another 45k pack. And to be fair, this SBC does cost an absolute bomb to do. Like, I'm pretty sure some interplayers have like 6k. It's nuts. Luckily for me, I had a fair. Oh no, I didn't have a first stone of a Marlin. I bought of a Marlin. For you away from marquee matchups for 700 coins. Should we have a look at how much he's worth now? He'll have gone down quite a bit because there's only like an hour left to do this SBC. But this is going to be about four five. Look, people bidding three and a half K on him. Absolute lunatics. I bought him for 700 coins. What are you doing? Mooney. Okay, he's first owner. I thought that was going to be a genius again. And I think this guy's first owner as well. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, I could trade it. I could sell them all for like, I don't know, 10K coins for these Barcelona players. But I'd rather have a 45K pack because it only cost me 700 coins. And then we've got... An untradeable Alex Vidal. Again, untradeable rares because I think you needed to trade some rares in. And yeah, you did four rare players. I've got two, four. I've got six because some of the other guys are untradeable and stuff like that. And I just need Rafinha, you'd have to go in and he's rare. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. We've just thrown them all in there. It cost me basically nothing. And we've got ourselves a 45k pack, which is absolutely beautiful for that one. So you've got two of them 12 gold, six rare. I mean, I'm not sure how that's a 45k pack when a 50k pack is 5k coins more and it's 12 gold, 12 rare. But, I mean, it didn't cost me 45 or 50k. It literally cost me, like, two, three thousand coins worth of players when I bought it. So, it's absolutely fine. And then this one for the Ajax Benfica one gets a premium gold players pack, which I believe is a 25k pack. And, again, we had a couple of them that we bought. Oh, no, untradeable. Uh, is he untradeable as well? Oh, okay. We, said we had two untradeable Ajax players. So that was absolutely banging. And then just a load of random stuff from just chilling in my club. Like, a few of them tradable, a few of them untradable. Just chilling there. Absolutely fine. Throwing them all in the squad. Bob's your uncle. Thank you very much. 25k pack. And a three-player Champions League pack as well. Which last time we got Robertson in. Who I initially thought was absolutely terrible. And ended up being worth 75k. So if you chuck us another one then. Absolutely fine by me. Eh? But we finished off them. We've got ourselves two 45k packs. A 25k pack. And a tradable three UCL player pack. Which is sick. And we once we get the other two crappy ones. We can throw them into here maybe. And get ourselves another UCL upgrade. I'm not... I'm not sure about this one. There's a day left to the side. I don't know if it's worth doing. That is a lot of untrade. Of, even though they're untradeable, it's a lot of blue cards to trade in for a, a one eighty-one plus. It just seemed. If it was an eighty-three plus, I'd probably do it. But I'm a little bit on the fence about whether that one's worth it. I'm not really sure. But 
Let's clean my tray pal because it's annoying me that we've got that number sitting there. So see you later, Sally, Sally, <laughs> Sally and Manny. That's Sally to you guys who don't know. Benatia and all the rest of you guys that we sold. Thank you very much for the coins. I do need to go through and clear out the rest of my club and we probably could get up to a mil, so that is something to do as well. Need to sell all of these guys, but that number is gone, so it looks fine. And we've got a number four because we've got four packs. So I'm going to start it off with a premium gold players pack, which is a 25k pack. Not asking for much, maybe just chuck us an interplayer and I'll be happy because I'm pretty sure they're worth about 5k. What are we saying? No board, Spanish, right wing. Not for Barcelona, unfortunately, because that would have been worth an absolute fortune as well. 80 rated Suseta isn't great. What else have we got? Any Inter or Barca players? No. Good. Alright, so that was pretty tragic. But after this stuff, I'm quite happy just having it in my club. I mean, it is tradable, and we could sell it if we wanted to, but I don't think any of them are going to really be worth any coins. So, I mean, maybe there's some, like, proper random ones from some random league for the SBC. Like, he's not going for anything because no one cares about doing the Argentinian, <laughs> Argentinian league one. But you never know, I suppose. Do I want to discard these guys? Are they pretty much... That's someone buying coins, isn't it? Oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God, we're rich! It's just some guy buying coins. Nice. Okay. <laughs> just blatant coin seller, but never mind. <laughs> And this guy is... People are bidding 650 on him, but that's just because that's how much the discard for. Yeah, there's one for now. Okay, we'll just get rid of him. See you later, team. You guys can go. Pretty tragic, 25k pack, but 45k packs are on the way. I haven't had a walkout on this account for absolute ages. Meanwhile... Oh, we've got a... Oh, we've got an inform! Okay, who's this? Oh, it's that guy we literally just traded in, isn't it? Vegost, we traded in his normal one for the Ajax thing and we've just got him packed his inform. Alright, that's not too bad. I mean, that's like minimum 10k if we just discard it, so that's better than most packs you're going to get. And we just got Timo Werner, who's actually just coming to the current team of the week, so if he's worth a couple of thousand, nah, he's, he's not going to go up really. He's worth a couple of thousand coins, though, or a few thousand coins. I think maybe he'll go up in price over the week because of the fact that he's out of packs, but... Mm, probably not. There's enough of him in circulation now knocking around. If it was the first week of FIFA, then that had happened, but that's not going to happen. Then we've got a load of other random stuff. This Kessie guy worth anything for doing the AC Milan SBC? Not really. I'm just going to throw them all in my club, and we can go through and sort them all out as we go, basically. Or rather, all in one go, rather than doing it as we go. Look, there's someone else just buying coins. Like, come on, man. It's so blatantly obvious. It's absolutely ridiculous. They don't even bother to buy now because they think they can get away with it by not been in it. It's just, it's just so silly. Anyway, whatever. There we go. Stick them all in my club. Good enough. That was a that was a decent 45k pack. Like that's paid for all of the stuff that I did in this S in these SPCs, and we've still got two packs to go, so that's pretty good. What else are we saying? Any walkouts for your boy? No, we don't have all no, no walkouts. We don't get walkouts. We do get boards though. What are we saying? Brazilian right wing Barcelona, he's got to be worth bank. Okay, we've got Malcolm. He must be worth at least 5k. And we need to get him sold almost immediately. He's, no, this one, this one's still got a day to go, hasn't it? Okay, that's fine. It's the other 45k back one where you need to trade in a UCL card that expires in like an hour. Malcolm's worth 4,500 coins. Okay, that's decent. What else we got in here? Juan Mata, Rafael... That's not too shabby, you know. That's all right. I suppose coins are coins, aren't they? As they say, stick them up for four and a half k. We should sell. Matter I can't imagine is worth particularly much. We'll just keep all of them in play of the month this Friday. In fact, I'm pretty sure you guys are watching this video on Friday. By the time you're watching it, I've probably done a crap load of investing for it. Matters might be a decent one to go for. I'm, I'm not really sure. It's probably going to be. It's going to be Barkley or Bemiang, isn't it? It's probably going to be all Bemiang. Let's be honest with ourselves. Did Arsenal play United? I don't think they did, but he's, he's just an 83 from the Prem, so maybe you could have invested in him. But again, by the time you guys are seeing this, this advice is absolutely useless to you, so... I don't even know why I'm saying it, to be honest with you. Right, why is Shaw selling? Why is he worth 700, 800 coins? It's just because he's a Premier League non-rare. Alright, we'll stick him on there. We'll discard him, and then all we've got left is our blue three-player... UCL, one of them rare packs. This is the one we can need. If you get a bot, I mean, we didn't get a bot last time. We got Andy Robertson, and he was just randomly rare for crap load of coins because basically because of the Van Dyke link. But this is the this is the one. Walkout boards. This is where you're making your peas. Some of these blue cards are worth absolute stupid amounts because people are idiots. And I've got the itchiest nose in the world. Let's hope that it's some stupid old wives' tale and itchy nose. 
packing. I, I, I'm, I'm trying, trying to think of a rhyme. I can't. I don't know. Itchy bum, money to come. That's what my grandma used to say. But I don't know. Itchy nose, packing, walkouts. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just open the pack. Are we gonna get a walkout? No. Are we gonna get a board? Come on, hit me with boards, please. Yeah, I think they're all boards actually, aren't they? Spanish right mid from Valencia. Cool. <laughs> cool. Whoa, what a big pack we've just got. Okay, that's pretty tragic. We've got Harrit. I mean, we could trick These guys are going to be worth like a fat... Are they actually worth like 2k here? They're worth like 2,000 coins. I don't, know if, I don't think it's worth trading them in for the upgrades. One we get an 81 plus. Surely not. And then this guy is actually worth like... I assume that's not someone's buying coins. I'm just going to sell him because he's absolutely useless. He's only useless. He's only useful to people who don't already have a rare one to trade in to do that other SBC for the 45k pack. So apparently this guy's worth about 4k. I need to actually just go for a price that he's going to sell because that SBC expires in an hour so no one will be buying him. So there you go. He can go for 4,200. This Harrit guy, I, I don't think it's worth trading in trade with ones of them to get an 81. Apparently he's worth 3,400. So again, we'll get him sold because I'm not keen on investing in the crappy ones. I might buy like a Handanovich and stuff like that if we've got coins left over when this SBC is expiring because they did jump up in price quite a little bit. There's loads of undercutting at the end of the SBC, but that last time it came out, that is, but I'm not too keen on investing in like 77 rated non-rail ones. So if he's worth three and a half grand, he's getting sold for three and a half grand. There you go, mate. Into the trade pile you go and we'll take some coins from you. So, I mean, some of them have already sold. You got like 10K back for that stuff or for other for the Champions League pack. Which isn't great, but I mean, he's just sold as well. And then, how mad's that? That the rare one is, there's like a bottom price for them, is like three and a half grand. And then this rare one's barely worth any more, even though he's rare and like four rate and tire. There you go, he's just sold. So we've got 950k. We could easily get ourselves to mill by selling stuff in our club on our transfer list. And that is what I'm going to go and do off camera for you guys. Because I'm going to clear out my transfer list and then I'm probably going to invest in a crap load of stuff during rewards to hopefully then flip when player of the month comes out. And then maybe we'll be able to afford Neymar and Kante. But I'm not optimistic. And I am leaning towards the fact that even if you guys vote for Neymar, I don't think I can actually afford him. <laughs> because Mbappe is like 450k. And then he leaves me 500k left. And Neymar is not 500k. And I need to buy Fabinho as well. So we shall see. We'll see how it all pans out. I may have wildly overestimated my coins. But you guys will probably find out what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Although I mightn't. It might be about investing first. And then it'll be the team. We shall see. We'll see what goes on. I'll see what the timings of stuff and like buying stuff and investing in things and things like that. How it all plans out. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.